In this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, contours using uh, AutoCAD Civil 3D. So first of all, you need to have your data arranged in this manner. This is a CSV data and uh, you can see that uh, the first column is point number. The second one is uh, nothing, easting, elevation, and the point description. So before we import this uh, data into Civil 3D, I need to get rid of this uh, heading. So I'm going to highlight the heading row and then click on delete. So now that we have this data like this, I need to uh, close down because you cannot import uh, data into Civil 3D when uh, it is already uh, still open in uh, Excel. So go ahead and close that, that down and then you open up uh, Civil 3D. Uh, for you to import uh, points in Civil 3D, make sure that uh, you click on uh, point tabs and then go to import stroke export, click on import. And then you need to define uh, the point format. And uh, for our case, it was uh, point number, nothing, easting, elevation and description so you click on that then click on this uh, icon here add file and then uh, navigate to where you have your data click on it and then click open then you click ok so for you to display your data uh, you need to type ZE for zoom extend and you hit enter now you have your data and uh, we can reduce the, we can increase the scale, that, and then uh, save. Before we, we go uh, on, we, let's just save our work. Uh, so I'm going to save it here, and say uh, uh, contours, because that's what we're going to create today. So now that we have our points here, the first uh, step is to create a surface before we proceed to creating uh, contours. Uh, so I'm going to click on this tool space here. And then now we have uh, our tool space. Then make sure that you click on prospector. And then uh, for you to create a surface, uh, first you need to uh, click uh, under the point groups uh, click on these uh, surfaces and then right click again then you now click on create surface so let me repeat that again uh, make sure that uh, surface is highlighted then you right click on it uh, select create uh, surface like that then uh, I'm going to leave everything as default uh, tin surface and then uh, under information uh, we have this style so i'm going to click if you click on this side you'll get this button this uh, three dot button click on it then uh, we're going to define first of all let's choose this one here one meter then uh, click on this pencil here this icon click on it uh, then select contours so I'm going to uh, define uh, contour intervals um, and so I'm going to make sure that uh, the minor interval is uh, 0 0.5 point 0.5 meters and the major contours should be 1 let me just do that again so this is 0 0.5 and this should be one like that then you click apply and uh, okay so i'm going to click uh, okay render material you click on you click here then uh, this button is going to appear click on it uh, I'm going to leave it as by block so you click OK now uh, if I expand on the surfaces you can see now we have another surface one 
so this is our surface that we've just created so you expand click on that you expand again so then we're going to choose the definition the last option expand on it again and then uh, go to point group highlight it and then right click and click add so uh, so this is our data that we have here so if we click on our point group right click on it add click on points and then uh, apply okay you can see now we have uh, the contours so quickly let me just select one of these points then right click select similar uh, then we hide these points so isolate them then hide selected objects so that we remain with contours alone so now that we have these uh, contours uh, the next step you're going to do is to uh, smoothen the contours for you to do that uh, still under prospectus uh, click on ed uh, edits then right click on it uh, then uh, choose smooth surface then uh, we're going to leave the method as natural neighbor interpolation the output location let, let be uh, grid based and then uh, under select output region click here then uh, you get, you'll get this uh, button here click on it so if you look at the bottom here and on this command line we have these uh, three selections uh, so just choose surface or type s and then uh, you're going to get this window, window again. So under the grid X spacing, uh, you're going to uh, define your uh, spacing. So the lower the number, the lower the figure that you type here, uh, the smooth their contours. So for this case, let me try and say 0 0.1, like so. And then uh, for Y, grid Y spacing, again, 0 0.1. Uh, if you hit enter. So because I've selected, I've chosen the smallest number here, it's going to take quite some time and you can see uh, the number output of points is about 1.9 million so i'm going to proceed and click ok and uh, it's going to take quite some time because uh, that number 1.9 million i think is quite uh, a big number so I'll, let me just give it time and then we'll be we we'll proceed So I'm going to close that. So the process is complete and you can see that uh, now we have uh, smooth contours. So the last step is to label the contours. Uh, for you to label uh, contours, first of all, let me just change the, uh, let's, let's, let's just uh, label the contours first. Uh, go to, annotate and then uh, on the extreme left choose uh, add labels and then surface so uh, then you s click on so under surface uh, we're going to select contour single and then uh, we're going to click on this uh, drop down arrow uh, make a copy of it so let me just uh, give it any name like pack and then click apply and click ok so next I'm going to uh, click on this pencil then uh, under the layout tab we are going to 
uh, do some modification so under text uh, we're going to select the, the contents and click on on this surface elevation the moment you click on it uh, the button will appear click on the button then on the right hand side make sure that you select all the text that appears so we are going to do some settings the units is meters precision we are going to make it to one precision i think that's all then click on this arrow to uh, apply the changes like that and then click ok so text height let me just make it uh, 2.5 like that and then uh, so everything is okay I'm going to click apply and then okay so for you to add the uh, labels click on add then select the uh, major contours where you want to add your labels so you're going to randomly add uh, the text like that so And then uh, we can just close this down and I'm going to change the text to uh, say something like comic uh, sun comic sun ms then apply and close so uh, now you can see we have uh, the contours the smooth contours and uh, so again that's that's all uh, how, that's how you create uh, contours and add your labels and that's also how you to smoothen your contours I hope uh, this tutorial uh, will help you somewhere and uh, see you in the next tutorial